with death and life here on the Hidden Acre is always something interesting, but it's part of the circle of life, of course. Uh, so this morning we woke up and have to deal with a little bit of loss. But as God provides, he also takes away too, so that uh, we just were a little struck on what happened. These chickens are actually are our pets, uh, raised from babies, uh, day olds, things like that. So today we're going to bury her, uh, but also, you know, we do bring in new life into the Hidden Acre. So, um, you know, that's, that's kind of it. Uh, things are removed and brought into your life when you need them, uh, but also uh, if you don't need them. Um, but also just that is the balance of life as we grow here on the Hidden Acre, we've learned uh, that more and more um, to just thank God for the blessings of these chickens, uh, what she's provided for us. Uh, hopefully I can figure out what actually happened to her, uh, but we can uh, go from there. us with them, blessing us with the eggs that they brought us. Um, the Lord does work uh, in mysterious ways. Uh, we're going to miss Blue, but she is just a chicken, so uh, we're going to move on, but we buried her with grace and with love. Um, and interestingly enough, we'll be introducing into the flock here soon again. Um, but you know, it's always that wonder of what happened, um, especially with chickens. If you don't actually see it, you really don't know what happened. And so, what happened to her? Um, I see feathers. I see a doorway kind of opened up, but nothing out of the ordinary. Her, um, not to get too graphic, but honestly, here we go. Uh, her head was still on, um, but part of her stomach and leg were truly eaten, and it's not like they were just pecked at uh, by the other chickens. Uh, we did have to move the other chickens to the extended run so that I could get her out, because they did want to kind of actually be around her. Uh, and also, she didn't seem really rigor mortis up yet, and that's what's weird to me too, uh, for the hours. Um, sorry about the sweat, sorry about the glasses, I still have a glove on from moving uh, and burying uh, our little blue. Uh, the sweat, it's already 80 some degrees here in, in Ohio on a morning. Uh, then you wake up and you have to deal with this, so it kind of gets your adrenaline pumping even more. Uh, so that's why, you know, I look the greatest in this video. <laughs> but this isn't about us, it's what do you do? Uh, what do you do with the dead chicken? Uh, plain and simple, you, you thank God and you move on. You get another chicken, you uh, replace everything else. You've got to learn. You've got to keep going. Uh, even, you know, yes, bees die every single day, but, you know, I've got 10 hives and I've got to learn from when one hive goes down or whatever and keep adapting and keep moving. Uh, we're in chickens for two, for many reasons, uh, not just two, but many reasons. And uh, one of them is you've got to keep learning and that's what they're teaching us. They're teaching us a lot. So take an opportunity to learn from everything that's surrounding you. Uh, and then teach as well. Um, so now we've got to teach each other 
uh, let's lock them back up for a couple nights. Um, truly locking up the coop um, so that just nothing is there. Interestingly enough, nothing could get to the turkeys, which they're kind of even wider out, but you know, I don't know. Um, I don't know what happened, and that's what really bothers me, is pacing, you know, I'm not a detective. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just a, a weird little hobby farmer guy that's trying to figure out what happened to his chicken. But uh, that's it, I'm gonna sign off. Um, but what do you do? You just learn. From our hidden anchor to you, God bless.